We can make a, we can make a, ojo de Dios. It's craft time with Mr. Mayberry. Let's get crafty. Greetings campers, welcome to the craft hall at Camp We Can Make a. I'm Mr. Mayberry, the head counselor, but you can call me Glue, that's my camp name. And today in the craft hall I'm going to show you how to make Ojo de Dios, which means Eye of God. For this craft you'll need the following items. Yarn of different colors, or you could use a multicolored yarn, it looks really neat if you do that. We also need two wooden bamboo skewers. We'll need some wire cutters and a pair of scissors. Are you ready to make an Ojo de Dios? Well then, let's get crafty! Okay, we're going to start by using the wooden skewers, and the skewers of course are sharp or pointed on one end, so to make those safer and easier to work with, we're going to cut that tip off, that um, point off of the end of the wooden skewer. And instead of just using a pair of scissors, I don't want to use a pair of scissors because um, scissors aren't really made to cut wood like that, and it'll tear them up. So I'm going to use a uh, pair of wire cutters, they're a little bit sharper and they're able to cut um, thicker like a watt piece of wire so it'll work good for the wood as well. So what I'm going to do is cut off the tip just like that. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Next thing is to line the skewers up beside each other and we'll tie them in the middle with a piece of yarn. So you have to figure out what color you want to start with. I'm going to start with red on mine. Wrap around, pull it through I want to do that once and then I'm going to do it again and then I'm going to, once it's on there tight, I want to cut off some of this excess. I don't need that much on there. I don't want to cut it too close because I don't want this to unravel and if you cut it too close it will. So I'm going to cut close but not too close. Take the skewers and turn one of them so it's perpendicular so you have like a, a cross or a plus here and you'll notice that the yarn is then going around at an angle in the middle one direction so what I want to do is take the yarn and now wrap it the other direction or diagonal the other way and I'll just keep doing that back and forth until it kind of builds up in the center. And what This does a couple things it kind of um, builds out the center but then it also helps to keep the sticks stable, stick, keep them in one position which is good once you get started you want to be able to uh, have them stay and so you're gonna have about the size of a dime. Wrap around the stick once go to the next arm there and wrap around it go to the next one and wrap around it once and you're holding this tight as you're doing that and you just keep going around and around That's about how big I want it to be. It doesn't really matter where. I'm just going to cut off and then I'm going to get my second color and I'm going to make a square knot. So what I do is I'm going to put the red across the top of the white. I'm going to use the red one mainly. I'm going to wrap around and I'm going to take that same red one and go over the white now on the other side and wrap around. And then this, we'll see why, this is why they call it a square knot because after you've done this it looks, it makes a shape of a, like a square almost. Pull tight on both sides. Make sure it's locked in really good there. Then I can trim this off. Again, you don't want to get too close to the knot because then it will come undone at some point. Pick up the sticks and, and start again. Keep, con continue where I was. And I want to make sure it's tight so I pull that tight. And then I'll just keep wrapping in the same direction that I was before. After you've gone around once with the new color, and you want to make sure it's going to cover up where that knot is. So just make sure you go right next to it where that knot is. And then you just keep going. And you keep wrapping and wrapping. This is about how big I want to make this section. 
This time I'm gonna put the white over the blue, wrap it around, and I'm holding the white one, I wrap it over the blue one going the other direction, around and through. Again, it forms a square, and then I pull that tight, trim off the extra, not too close to the knot. You know, tighten up, and then I go ahead and keep on winding around. Okay, now uh, comes the last part. What I'm gonna do here at the end is to make a loop so that I can hang this up on the wall. Um, but about 10 inches from there, I'm going to cut that off. I'm gonna wrap it around the stick, make an opening like that. I'm gonna wrap around and poke that through. And when I poke that through, I'm gonna be making a loop and this is what we're going to hang it by. One end will pull that knot tighter, so pull that end pull that tight against the stick okay and here's our loop to hang it by now you'll notice if I pull up on this when I hang it hang it it's going to separate this string here from the rest of it so I don't want that to happen so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn this on the back and then on the this part right here I'm gonna take the first string at the bottom and I'm going to wrap the remainder around that and pull through and pull that tight and that should keep it from just pulling this other side up by itself it, it should have equal out how it's being Hung right there. I'm going to treat this loop like it's one piece. I'm going to take this remaining piece, wrap it around there, and pull tight, and then I'm going to do that again. And you can trim off any extra that you have here, but don't don't cut it off too close to the knot because then it'll unravel. And so there's there's the loop to hang it by. Turn that over. Clean up your workspace. Get rid of any extra pieces. Clean that off. Put away your tools. And this is our craft for today. And ojo de dios. Number 26. For eye protection during summer camp, pack a good pair of sunglasses, one that will protect your eyes from UVA and UVB rays, and still look cool. We can make up.